In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take apart and reassemble a master cylinder. A car comes into the shop, it's got a low brake pedal, a brake pedal pulsation, a hard brake pedal. The customer has concern with the way the pedal feels. You're going to need to diagnose that, and part of that is knowing about what's going on inside the master cylinder. In order to do that, we're going to take one apart, lay it all on the table on a, on a paper towel, we're going to have you label up the parts, reassemble it. After that, as a class, we're going to go over the different parts of the master cylinder and how to diagnose the master cylinder, which is going to be the most important piece is how do I know if I need a master cylinder or if our customer needs a master cylinder. So we're going to show you how to do that, but first we're going to take it apart so you and I are both looking at the same pieces and we know what we're talking about when we're talking about the internal parts of the master cylinder. To disassemble your master type, cylinder, you're going to need to remove the snap ring you have at the rear of the cylinder. master cylinder. It's either going to there be are two types: like that this wire right type there. with no holes in the ends, and then a typical snap ring with the so two holes right in there. it. If it's this style, if you have a with snap the ring with it, the holes, you can use a pair of snap, a ring snap ring pliers, pliers to remove the snap ring. That go right. Snap rings are internal holes. or external. Just like this that. one happens to be an internal snap ring. And when you squeeze it like the pliers, you squeeze the pliers together, that releases pull the snap it. ring out. And this is going to be inside internal snap rings. The other this type right of snap here. ring, you're simply going to use a pocket screwdriver just going to, to pry it out of its position. And the number we three will Phillips. need to use the number three Phillips to push in the primary piston in order to get the snap ring out, and that's true with both styles. See if I can get that. Here, I'm using that number three push Phillips to push in the piston, Phillips. and using my pocket screwdriver to pull out the little wire clip, the snap ring itself. Once the snap rings out, the primary uh, piston the will push uh, itself right out. You just grab a hold of it and pull it the rest of the way. My first little piston. Inside of the master cylinder is another piston do that, that you'll have to get out of there. Piston right. That's inside the secondary there, piston. You can't hardly see it. If you put a block of wood block on of the wood, back of the vise put it right and tap there. the master cylinder, the secondary piston oh, yeah. will come right out. It'll come right out. That is going to be the inner piston. And when they're together, put the primary and secondary pistons together like they are like inside that. the master cylinder. It look just like Front that. Rear. Yep, just like that. Okay. Once you have the master cylinder apart, you're going to need to put it on a paper towel so that it's clean and you don't lose any of the parts. And then in your lab book, there's a page uh, entitled Master Cylinder Rebuild. You're going to draw all the parts you see here in this picture. On that same page is a list of parts. For instance, primary piston, secondary piston, primary high pressure area, and so on. You're going to research those parts using your phone uh, with the internet or a PC with the internet or a textbook. You're going to find all the parts listed and label them on your master cylinder. So you'll draw a number one and then you'll label up the part. Once you're done with that, your master cylinder is a part, you have it labeled, you're going to come and find me and then I'm going to check you off and say it looks good. You put it back together, I'll stamp the book and then you're all set for that lab. Putting the master cylinder back together is just as easy as taking it apart. Put it in the vise by the ear inside the vise. You're going to make sure the parts are clean, of course, when it goes back together. And you can use a little brake fluid to lubricate the seals if you'd like. Put in the secondary piston. Put in the primary piston. With the number three Phillips screwdriver, you're going to push in the primary piston. And because I don't have the holes in into my snap ring, this is just going to push in with my fingers here. I don't need an additional tool. Once it's in place, 
I'll let go of the piston and then it's done. You're all back together.